surprised you answered. Uh, am I interrupting something? Hey, are, are you on an airplane? Yeah, I'm coming home. Babe, why? That trip was expensive. Yeah, trust me, I know it was expensive, but uh, it's not really a honeymoon when you're not there. Yeah, I know, but I, I told you I was going to meet you in San Paulo in a couple days, right? Yeah, that was three days ago. I'm sorry, okay? Work's just taking longer than I expected. Look, I'm just calling you to let you know that I'm coming home tonight and you're probably going to be busy, so you don't have to worry about picking me up from the airport. Don't do that. Okay, you know that hurts. Really? So you hurting my feelings hurts you? Miss, I'm not going to tell you again. All large electronic devices must be turned off. Now. Donna, come on, don't hang up. We said we'd never hang up any... I hate to ask, but my battery just died. Yeah, sure, and it's no problem. It happens to me all the time. Thanks. You're such a pretty wife, Benji. I'm sorry, I don't think we've actually ever met. No, we either. haven't met. <laughs> don't worry. OK, so how do you know who I am? I know everyone who created the code for Genesis 7. No, I'm sorry, you got the wrong guy. Stay. I don't want to have to hurt you or Donna. Who are you? Today, you make one of two choices. Either you give me the code for Genesis 7, and I give you $10 million in the Swiss bank account and a one-way first-class ticket to Dubai, you'll leave tonight and start a new life. Or you don't give me the code for Genesis 7, and your wife dies in 45 minutes. Maybe less. OK. No, 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 I, I get it. I get it. This is this is all just Donna's idea of a sick joke, you know, to get back mm -hmm. at me for the Yeah, whole you would think that it's all about you, wouldn't you? You're an Aries, right? Okay, I'm done. Give me my phone. That's not one of the I options. said, give me my phone. I said to keep your voice down if you want to keep your wife safe. First off, Donna's not even here. She's on a plane. She's in the sky, and the plane is set to explode if you don't do everything I say. He can't help you. But Homeland Security can. Let's just give him a call, shall Please we? stop. Look, you had me concerned at first. Congratulations. Well done. But I don't even have the code. Okay, the code's at Geotech, and today's a Sunday, which means I can't even get in. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to get me in. So why me? Huh? I mean, I'm only one of the four project managers who even worked on the code. Three, actually. Your colleague Cliff, with the wife and kids? I went to him first. Yeah. He didn't choose wisely. Could have been an accident. They won't think that it's an accident. They won't think that Donna's death is an accident. When they investigate the wreckage of that plane, they will discover that all of the evidence leads to you. And they will even have a motive since the two of you weren't getting along. If you want my code, that's between you and me. But do not bring my wife into this. Oh, she's already in it. Levita Flight 1224 is up in the air, going from Sao Paulo to Los Angeles. Whether it stays up in the air is up to you. What do you even want the code for? You don't get to ask questions. What's it gonna be, Benji? Make up your mind.
SoCal approach, this is La Vida 1224, requesting timing for landing. We've been circling for almost an hour. If I didn't know better, I think you were having a secret initiation right for a new captain. La Vida 1224, this is SoCal approach. No hazing going on here. You are currently number 12 for approach. La Vida 1224, what's your fuel situation? We're down to 15,000 kilos. Another hour of this stuff. We'll fall like a brick. Stand by for priority clearance. Roger, so Cal Approach, thanks. I'm impressed. My looks? You made it through the entire flight without cussing once. Gotta watch my big mouth. It's part of the reason I'm stuck in this right seat. Would you mind taking a seat? Miss, have a seat. Power down your large electronics. We're about to go in for landing. I know it's been a frustrating flight. I know you're tired. Please take your seats. Fasten your seat belts, please. Turn your phones off. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Would you mind taking a seat for me, please? Thank you. Would you mind taking a seat there, please, for me? And you as well. Buckle up. Thank you. Hey, if you can take a seat, that'd be great. Thank you. Hey, miss, would you mind taking a seat and buckle up? Thank you. And if you wouldn't mind, please, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may please have your attention, I know it's been a long flight, but if you could please take your seats as we've been cleared for descent. Thank you. Stewardess. Yes? That lavatory is foul. I'm glad I don't have to go. I'm kidding. If you'll just stay seated, I'll get it cleaned up right away, okay? Sir? If you'll kindly take your seat, please. I got 50-yard line seats for the Texas UCLA football game down at the Rose Bowl. I'm so jealous. I went to UCLA. I got money on te Texas. The game starts in five minutes. Well, we'll be on the ground soon, OK? Sir, if you would take your seat. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch. Officer. Uh, no wonder with all the circling we've been doing. How are you feeling? You okay? Okay. We'll be landing soon. How are you feeling? I'm on the ride of my life. Excuse me. I don't mind switching with her. Being by the wings might help alleviate the nausea. Are you sure? We'll be landing soon. We've been landing for an hour. It's fine. <laughs> It's very sweet of you. If we weren't descending, I'd buy you a drink. Come on, ma'am. You'll feel better up here. All right, just take a seat right there for me. Okay. Right this way. Where's my twenty dollars? Hi. Thank you so much for spotting me last night. Yeah, I've never seen anyone cry at a blackjack table. I'm a sore loser. Mm -hmm. I uh, thought you weren't leaving until next week. Yeah, well, it's not that fun spending your honeymoon alone, so. I don't think it's supposed to be. I hope that, I hope that you don't think that last night I was trying don't, don't worry. Women with wedding rings aren't my thing. Besides, I got a sugar mama I'm not about to cheat on. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just trying to keep you out of as much trouble as possible. Oh, God, what kind of trouble are we talking about? You got really drunk playing craps. Security got mad. I took you to your room and left. I'm so sorry. This is really humiliating. I never do anything like this. Kurt. Kurt. Right, I'm Donna. And your husband is Benji. Wow, I do not shut up when I'm taking tequila shots, apparently. 
They were actually Jaeger shots. Oh, please stop. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than it is to a friend. For what it's worth, I don't really consider you a stranger. You saw me vomit. It's a friendship. I've never agreed to switch days with Donald. Donald switches work schedules faster than he switches boyfriends. <laughs> hey, I thought we were out of soda. We are now. Levita 1224, descend and maintain 12,000. Expert vectors for ILS 7 left in four minutes. SoCal approach, Levita 1224, leaving flight level 200 for 12,000. Expect vectors in four. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been cleared for final descent to LA. Currently at LX, the weather is 98 degrees with winds of 12 knots. We've enjoyed having you on board. Thank you for your patience. We're expecting a bumpy approach into LAX, so keep those seatbelts fastened. Want to do the honors? You know it's what I live for. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are starting our descent to LAX, please make sure that your seat backs and tray tables are in their full and upright position. Also, turn off all large electronic devices and make sure your phones are in airplane mode until we touch down. Thank you. So, your husband. You love the guy? Yeah. Yeah, I do. That's why I have to divorce him. Oh, one down, 19 to go. Let's move that traffic before wind picks up again. Nancy talked me into having dinner with her later. What, the drama queen who works for Columbia? Come with. <laughs> I'll buy. No way. <laughs> I'm going back to the hotel, and I'm going to have a long, hot bath. With the new captain? You've been checking them out since we pre-boarded in Sao Paulo. I'm not. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> hey, if you don't want him, I'll gladly. <sighs> Does no one follow rules anymore? Everyone, this is a friendly reminder that all phones and electronic devices should be turned off at this time. Thank you. I don't think that's a phone. Captain, what he's trying to land. You know how many FAA regulations you broke? 
If there's a credible Jesus. threat, I can enter the flight deck under such Quiet, circumstances. Quiet, both of you. Alexis, what is this? Good afternoon, Captain. If you land the plane, you die. Before departing Sao Paulo, an overriding mechanism was attached to your plane's stabilizer system. Once the aircraft descends past 1,500 feet above ground level, its guidance systems will be programmed to malfunction. This will also jam the transponder radar, making you undetectable to other aircraft. If the plane rises about 1,500 feet or falls below 500 feet, ASL, the stabilizer system, will fail, severing the hydraulic lines and making the craft completely uncontrollable. This will cause the plane to break apart in midair, killing everyone on board and others on the ground. If anyone gets off the plane, I'll destroy it. If anyone tries to get on the plane, I'll destroy it. I am controlling the device remotely with limited range. If you fly out of a 20-mile radius of LAX, the device will lose my signal and short-circuit the system. I will disable the system remotely once I get what I want. What's our altitude? We just crossed 3,000 feet. You gotta pull up. Captain. So, Cal approach, this is Levita 1224 with a possible terrorist threat. Possible? We're below 2,500 feet. Requesting clearance to go around. Levita 1224, please elaborate. A flight attendant received a recording outlining a detailed threat if we attempt to land. Who gave the flight attendant this recording? We're 2,000 feet, do something. Captain, Alexis, who gave it to you? Uh, it, it, it was in the cart, and anyone could have put it there. 1,800 feet. SoCal approach, we once again request permission. By the time they give us permission, we could all be dead. <sighs> JC, what the hell are you doing? What? Lovita 24, you do not have clear airspace. Traffic, two contacts, one in your three o'clock ascending into your path and the other at your five. Maintain current altitude. Prepare for collision. Oh my god, what can I do? Alexis, get out of here. Get yourself strapped down. Levita 1224, what are your intentions? Over. Do it now. A runaway aircraft in a possible terrorist situation. La Vida 1224, make 280 heading 190 and enter your transponder code for your situation if you are unable to speak. up in time. Now we got some time to figure out what this thing really is. Captain, why do you still look so tense? That's why. We're losing systems left and right. Levita 1224, come in. Levita 1224. Levita 1224 with your 1200. Levita 1224, not seeing your transponder. Please go to 121.5. 121.5, roger. SoCal, Levita 1224 on 121.5. Levita 1224, 
SoCal Approach, this is Levita 1224. All navigation and avionics has failed except the calm. We don't exactly know where we are, but we have reason to believe that the terrorist threat is real. Have you made your decision yet, Benji? All right. Wait. Okay, I'll do it. Man. You got me. I finished my initial interrogation, sir. And in conclusion? Undecided. Undecided, really. Do you still think he's a threat to national security? The boy's name is John Rogers, who's on the no-fly list and he's wanted in seven states. And what is John Rogers wanted for? Armed robbery, physical assault, arson, and kidnapping. You think little Johnny here was responsible for all that? Well, his name is on the list. May I? Ah, it is indeed. Um, I think we can probably release him. Thank you, officer. Thank you very much. This is why no one trusts us anymore. Yes, sir. Wasting my time and yours confiscating extra large tubes of toothpaste and interrogating women breastfeeding their babies. Meanwhile, those who may actually do us harm are invited on our planes with open arms. Oh, I give up. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. O obviously, don't. <laughs> Please. Agent Coleman? Who's asking? My name is Belfler, sir. You're needed in the traffic control. Uh, what for? Two kids kissing on the tarmac again? We have a rogue baron in the red. Let's go. ATC is now under the authority of Homeland Security. Ground all outbound flights and divert incoming traffic to Las Vegas and San Diego. Los Angeles is now under a red terror alert. Santa Monica and Catalina airports are calling in the smaller planes currently in the air, but many are still out there. It will take time. Lots of recreational pilots in the sky. It is Sunday, after all. I don't care if it's Christmas and Santa's test driving new reindeer. Bring them in. What we do? Does El Segundo have a bird? Negative. The nearest F-18's in San Diego, but they're prepping for launch, and they should be within Los Angeles airspace in 20 minutes. We'll blow that plane out of the sky before I let them crash into a federal building or whatever they have planned. Okay, well, the this is not going to be a West Coast version of 9-11. The captain said that they received a terrorist threat on board the aircraft from a recording device. Michaels, has uh, the airport or any other plane received a similar threat? There's been no reported activity on any terrorists watching us. Don't do that, TSA. Those guys have less sense than God gave a rock. I printed out the plane's manifest. There are 67 passengers, two pilots, and three crew members. Ouch. Time's no bueno for the leader airlines. I need a complete background check on every soul on board. Yes, sir. Can I speak to the captain? He's on radio now. What's his name? Khalid Safir. He's Middle Eastern. Really? So am I. You are? No. But if I was, would you trust me any less? No, yes, sir. Thank you. Levita 1224, Captain Safir. This is Agent Coleman of Homeland Security. I hear you're having quite a Sunday drive up there today. I take a cruise in my 65 Corvette any day over this. As soon as we get you home. 
I'll let you take me for a spin. Deal. Levita 1224, we're clearing airspace from Santa Monica to Malibu. What's your current altitude? SoCal approach for flying a steady 1,000 feet. Get down some more. There are some cumulus clouds coming in. Those combined with the Santa Ana winds are going to get too much for you up there. Copy that, lowering altitude. That's not a good idea. You can handle the air. SoCal approach, per your instructions, we are descending down to a steady 750 feet. Copy that. But, Captain. If we were in different seats, you would make the call. But you're not. Even if I know what you're doing is wrong, I'm just as capable as you. JC, this is my plane. Right, your plane. Just stay above 500 feet in case the threat is real. In case? Someone's managing to jam our radar going in and out. You still think this threat isn't real? Approach is just doing the job, boys. Can you play me that recording? We need to record it for analysis so we know what we're dealing with. We'll do. You sure the air ahead is clear? Just stay along the beach. Don't head out more than a mile toward the ocean. You know, there's some bad wind shear coming in off the Pacific that you can't fly above right now. We can't track anything. Is there a first aid kit and some towels to wipe up the blood? Yeah. Are we on the ground? No, 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 we haven't landed. Oh my god, why didn't I stay in Brazil? Here. Yeah. Ricky? Yeah. Help! Hold this. <coughs> careful, careful, careful! So careful, careful, his ribs may be broken. Alexis, help me! There's an empty room, coach. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three! Ah! Oh. Mm. Right here? It's gonna be okay, okay? Just hang on. Captain, straight ahead. Which way to return? So, California, I thought you said this airspace was clear. It is. Why? What do you see? If they crash, there'll be less chance of civilian casualties. Except for the lives on board. A plane that size can't sustain airspeed at that low altitude over the ocean. If they fly against the heavy Pacific wind currents, they'll hit too much shear. See? I recommend that they stay over the land if you want to keep them at an altitude between 500 and 1,500 feet. Is that really worth the risk? To the people on that plane, it is. Until I'm ordered otherwise. We're doing everything we can to keep them alive. Coleman, if that plane... Michaels. Right now, you're being as useful as a pogo stick in quicksand. I need you to be a knight, not a ninny. Now, help me find out what we're up against. Yes, sir. Levita 1224, head east at 120 degrees. SoCal, this is Levita 1224 on course now. Ladies and gentlemen, is there anyone on board with medical training? I can help with the basics. I used to be an EMT. God, in my book that qualifies you to do heart surgery. We need ice pack for him and the others. Yes, thank you. Let me know if I can help in any way. Okay, hold on to this right here. I don't think it's broken. Just tilt your head back. Uh, then why does it feel like my face is my balls and I just got kicked? You're still bleeding a lot, that's why. Everyone, if you or someone beside you is injured, please raise your hand. 
Damn it, Khalib, I told you not to fly at such a low altitude. This discussion can wait. Yeah, if we had discussed this in the first place, we wouldn't be in this... JC, you're not helping. This plane would have crashed if you didn't have my help. Flight crew, I need an attendant to report to the deck immediately. What's wrong? I'm going to help you calm down. I don't need to calm down. Come in. Yes, Captain. Sit in a cockpit while JC steps out for a moment. I'm not stepping out. Step outside and drink some water. I'm not thirsty. I need you to lower your level of stress. You're no good to me angry. You think this is angry? Step outside and cool down. Now! Gentlemen, we are experiencing some technical difficulties which are currently being remedied. I hope to have further updates and information for you soon. In the meantime, please cooperate with the flight crew and remain seated while we handle the situation. Thank you. How am I supposed to keep past security? Yeah, I guess I can sneak you in. I don't sneak. Hey, Benji. You forget it's Sunday? You know me, just work, work, work. If only you've been as dedicated to your studies back at Rihanna. I taught Benji his first coding course in college. He'll never forgive me for giving him a B. You teach at Texas A&M. <laughs> Benji's one of our most successful graduates. Good thing you got the academics down, because UCLA is whipping your butt right now. <laughs> Careful. Those are fighting words, and I've got claws. What kind of ID would you like to see? Driver's license, passport, Texas alumni card? <laughs> Driver's license, please. Keep that A&M card away from me. I'm not a Texas fan. Not until you walked in the door. Okay then. Um, Andy, thank you so much. And we're just gonna be up in my office in case, you know, anything comes up. Yeah. Vita 1224. What is your position? May I respond? Please. SoCal, this is Levita 1224. We're at an altitude of 900 feet. We're coming up at Pasadena at 240 degrees. Levita 1224, stay on course and wait for our direction. We're going to turn you back out to LAX. Be 
You better have good words and not bad breath in that mouth of yours, Michaels. We got two verifiable hits on the maintenance crew in Brazil. You know what type of device they put on the plane? Well, right now we're working with Sao Paulo authorities to get them in for questioning. I need to know what's on that plane now. Are they still in a secure pattern? Uh, taking them in by minute. We need to stop their roller coaster ride long enough for the crew to search the plane. Any luck with good recordings? The Fed say it could take weeks to analyze and track the source. That device doesn't kill them. And to guess, thank well. How many kilos they got left? Enough to keep them going another 50 minutes. Maybe. But if they fly too low, they'll burn right through. Oh, screw me. What is it? How did I miss this? Wire press? Levita 1224, this is SoCal. Immediate, 20 degrees south. Away from the hills, I want as much unblocked air as possible. Flight team, prepare for turbulence. Strap in, we're in for some strong. Wouldn't it be better to just take our chances and jump? It's your seat. No. You're good. You actually care. I'm just doing what anybody else would do. <sighs> Not anybody. This wind is working against us. More power? Yeah. Broadcasting that aero shot. Is that coming from a news chopper? Didn't we issue a no fly zone? We did. And all the news stations agreed to it. Well, somebody lied. Beach 424, now stable at 1,000. Man, you're doing a hell of a job up there. Much better job than we're doing for them down here. Sir, we are dealing with terrorists who hasn't told us who they are, what they want, or how we'll even know if they finally get it. All right, this is far from textbook. If we are going to win this game, we need to find out what all the pieces are. Captain, I need you to find out what's been on that plane so we can get rid of it. Come in. Captain. It's getting messy out there. Everyone keeps asking questions. I don't know what to tell them. Tell them what they need to know. That a mechanical failure is being resolved. It's a lie. It's a lie, but it'll keep them calm and in their seats. You need to take mine. What? Where are you going? I'm going to find out what this lunatic has put on the plane. JC, you're in charge. Of no, Captain, I, 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 I don't think you, you should stay, and I'll go, OK? This is my plane. I gotta find out what's going on with it. Okay, well then I'll come with you. You know it's regulation to have two crew members in the pit. But Captain, I don't think that's a good Alexis, idea. Alexis, you are the captain. I respect his wishes.
Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for the cooperation with the crew as we deal with this unexpected minor mechanical issue. Mechanical issue? I promise we will resolve the issue as soon as we can. And you have my guarantee that the crew and I will do everything we can to get you on the ground safely. Now while we fix this issue, please remain seated silently and request assistance from the crew only when absolutely necessary. Thank you. Say, Nurse Nightingale, you've inspired me to help my fellow man. I see some very nice work here. And I see some very sloppy work here. Look, this isn't easy, okay? The code is divided into three different quantities. You can transfer it onto this. What do you even want this code for anyway? Not your concern. Well, since if the Genesis 7 gets in the wrong hands, it could literally end the world. No matter. I'll still get my 100 million. <laughs> this is about cash. You're, you're doing all this over some cash. It's shocking what people will do for even 1% of the kind of stash that I rake in. Oh, Benji. Look, it's your wife! Stana? Come on, what? Work! I'm okay. I'm not hurt. I shouldn't have left the way I did. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, can I please respond to her? Just give me the code and you can do anything you want. Come on, you've got to at least give me the chance to tell her that I love her. Amy? What? 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 What's wrong? Oh, Cliff is dead. And his family. Amy? Amy? How were they killed? Santa Barbara, and their boat exploded. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I feel lighter. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, who are you? I'm Donna's friend. Benji and I were eating brunch when he heard the news. Oh. He's just here downloading some things so that he can work remotely. <sighs> well, what are you guys downloading anyway? It's actually just the Mackenzie crap. That's not due for another month, though. Yeah, I, um... Benji, you work too much. Yeah. I realize that now. Well, you know, I just came to pick up some of Cliff's things for his mom, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hurry up and get out of here. Hurry up. She seems like a nice girl. It's no wonder that she was on the team also who created Genesis 7. Hmm. I wonder if she would be interested in cooperating with me if you mess up. Keep me 
from getting fried from handling the computer equipment. I don't know what they may have done down there. Make sure this stays grounded. Open the door. Please see. Did you find anything? I took some pictures. Whatever's planted on there. Looks like it's using the plane to charge its own. JC, open this door! Open the door. I'll be at 1224, this is Coleman. Any luck with that jamming device? That's a negative. What did Captain and Sophia find? Still searching the bay. He left me in charge of the flight deck. Are you crazy? The only reason why you and everyone else on this plane is still alive is because of the decisions I made, not Khalid. If it weren't for my quick thinking, you would have tried to land this plane. He was just trying to do the right thing. But I did the right thing. Me. As long as he's not in this cockpit, I'm in charge. Just those gnarly Santa Ana wings acting up. Dropping down a bitch to take care of it. See? Things are better already. Why don't they just land? Hey! Why don't you tell us what's really wrong or land the plane? What's the problem? Sir, please go back to your seat. Uh oh. The rats are about to overtake the kitchen. I want to know why the captain is locked out of his own flight deck. Sir, this is official business. Please, don't, have... don't bully me, buddy. I'm not bullying anyone. My wife's hurt. And this plane has destroyed city property and everyone... Scared as hell. Like the captain has said, it is a mechanical issue. Bull. Now... I have a right to know. Sir, please. Go back to your seat. Unless you want to explain to your beer belly friends why a flight attendant from West Hollywood broke your arm, I suggest you go back to your seat and not hit Sir, please, have a seat, and let the captain continue his explanation. I won't have violence on my flight. It's got a little congested, that's all. I won't hurt anyone. Good, because we're in enough trouble as it is. But you all deserve to know, we received a terrorist threat. This plane will crash if we try to land. And why aren't you flying the plane? The terrorist is in there, isn't he? He's one of the pilots. My co-pilot and I, we just had a misunderstanding. That is all. What, he locked you out of the cockpit? What did you do to the bottom of the plane? I saw him go down there. I saw him. I got a feeling I know who the terrorist on this plane is. It isn't the first time someone like you has put a flight at risk. Someone like me? Yeah, someone like you. I knew as soon as I got on board this plane and saw what you looked like that this flight was in trouble. This is getting out of control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? I'm gonna go do something. Up there? Yeah, I'm gonna take my chances. You'll just make it worse! I'm American, just like you. No, man, you ain't nothing like me. You ain't nothing. Hey, Texas! Knock it off! What? You, you wanna hit him? You're gonna have to hit me first. You're protecting him? I'm protecting all of us. Now sit down, put your seatbelt on, and listen to our captain. But this... Shut up!
navigation error. Diverting power from the main generator back to the battery to get the elevator back online. Right, the captain should be in here. Hey, hey. You may be willing to put your life in his hands. I'm not. You can't fly this alone. I've got this. All right, just have to lean into the pivot to correct it like I did before. Sir, we have visual of the 757 heading into the Hollywood Hills. We are in position to shoot down the Jesus wing. Christ, what is happening on that plane? We'll be to 1224. This is Coleman. You have 10 seconds to redirect your flight pattern. We are taking invasive action. Turn 50 degrees to the left and increase the throttle when I say mark. Ready? Uh, yeah. Three, two, one, mark. JC, we'll discuss what happened when we were on the ground. And right now, that's my number one priority, getting home. But I need your cooperation. No grudges, no ulterior motives. Otherwise, whoever is behind this has already won. And these passengers will die because you and I can't get along. Levi, I... We'll discuss this when we land. Sir, this is now a domestic terrorist attack on the United States soil. The president has been informed, and he wants your feedback on whether or not to shoot it down. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that our estimates calculate minimal civilian casualties if we take action now. 72 people is seen as minimal. It may be our only option. Michael. Yes, sir. How fast can you get me on that plane? Let me call her. Come on, at least let me text her back. Listen. I can't have her think that I don't care. Look, I need her to know that I should have gone with her and I know that now. What are you doing? I will enter through the cargo hold. At your low altitude, there should be no danger from pressurization loss. It'll just be windy as hell. Yeah, the doors will depart at a rate of 60 knots on the ground. How many of you are coming on board? Two. Me and a, and a specialist. We're gonna try and rewire the circuitry to stabilize the system. You know how to disable it? My team analyzed the photos Captain Saphir sent. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be trickier than trying to get a mule to mate with a sheepdog. But when should we open the doors? In two minutes, our plane will be aligned with yours. Open the hatch, we'll harpoon a zip line over. You need to slow to a speed of 150 to 175. That's too low, we'll burn right through our fuel reserves. Guys, okay, so we shouldn't be doing this. The instructions were very clear, no outside interference. About 20 minutes, we'll have no more fuel and no plane. Okay, fine. I'll go down and guide them in. Okay, I'll be right behind you. With that eye? No way. Don't get too comfortable. Be right back. 
I, I can go by myself. I'd love to pin all of our hopes and dreams on you, but I only got one pin left. I'm all out of dreams. Are you guys sure there's not another way? We are breaking the rules. Stop talking and start walking. Just try to keep it steady and don't dump me out. Although I wouldn't blame you if you did. We're in position, open the doors! You got your seatbelt on? Yeah. Tight? So. Make sure. PTSD? Huh? Post traumatic stress disorder. You're showing the symptoms. Is that obvious, huh? Do you have something you take from it? Do, do you need me to get your bag? No. No, 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 just, just, just hold my hand, that, that works best. Let me call Donna. You know she can call off the rescue. What do you want? I obeyed all your rules. Look, the, tra the, the transfer is almost done. Good. Then you'll get paid. I don't want to get paid. I just want my wife. Line is secure. I'm coming over. Stop climbing. It's not me. The plane's time on its own. damage did the plane take from our head? The circuitry in both wings is so damaged we could short out in any second. There are only 800 pounds of fuel left. Do we have enough for another shot? No. Is the legs clear? It's totally evacuated. Escort us to the airport. That way the casualties on the ground will be minimized when it plays out. And there's a chance some of us will survive. This is not over. This is Levita 1224 sending the course for LAX. Make sure Alexis is okay and prepare the passengers. Here it is. Land the plane and I'll give it to you. Just let the plane land. What? What is it? 
Is there something wrong? You can't make it land. Carter, is there anybody that you want to text or message? You could use my phone. I know. I got my own phone. Thanks. this. I know I can. Sit down. <laughs> Why won't you let me help? You can help by having a seat and letting the professionals handle this. <sighs> Alexis needs help. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? Uh, don't, don't ask me how I feel. I told them, I told them that this would happen, but they didn't listen. Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Sir, I absolutely cannot. Now sit down. Just give me 10 seconds to check it out. What have you got to lose? Let me get down there and take a look. If you don't sit down right now, what could be more threatening than me being on this plane right now? What's the problem? Well, there's not a problem. I'm just offering a solution. Alexis, this oh, no, no, no. What can you do? Let me take a look at what's going on in the avionics bay. I used to dismantle all kinds of crap in Iraq, and I bet my life, what's down there, is very similar. Now, it may be too complicated, I don't know, but at least let me get down there and give it a shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what do you plan on doing with that? I can either try to save the plane or open a can of beans. Which do you prefer? Hurry up, it's this way. Well, we can't have passengers in the restricted area. I'll be his escort. We need captain's approval. Matthew, get off it already! I just saw JC die in front of me. I tried to save him and I failed, and now this man is offering to help us, and you're saying he can't because it's against FAA protocol? Do you see anyone else in here offering to help? I didn't think so. Just move. I'm just trying to do the right thing. I know. No, you don't know, because if we do survive this, I'm fine. Too much internal electrical damage. What do you mean? It means we're screwed. Where's Alexis? Get back to your seat. Where's Alexis? Get away from him! Donna, that doesn't belong to you. Donna, what are you doing? Both of you, back to your seats. There's a reason you were so concerned with this guy. You knew it was your way out if something went wrong. That's standard military issue. Is that what this is? You're the terrorist? Sir, step back and have a seat in the jump seat. If I was the terrorist, then why would I try to dismantle the device? Sir, I suggest you don't say another word until we land the plane and the proper authorities are involved. But she stole from me! Sir, sit down, okay? And we can sort this all out. Why? 
So I can be the fall guy? Matthew, quick, get the extension cord so we can strap him down. He's dangerous. He can't be trusted. Bitch. <laughs> Rush me and I'll slit her fucking throat. Oh man, don't do this. <laughs> Everybody out now. Now! You, you stay. Stay. You. Come with me. Come on. That's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Open it. What? At this altitude, we don't have to worry about pressurization. <laughs> don't you think I thought of that? Now, be a good girl, turn around and help me put that parachute on. I didn't know you were a dancer. Come on. You know about teamwork, you're married, right? Help me. How's that door coming? Flight crew to flight deck. Flight crew to flight deck. Who opened the emergency door? The what got sucked into the engine? I think it was the terrorist who put the device on the plane. And also the only man who could save us. This was found in his belongings. Some kind of uh, signal box. Radar jamming equipment. I was sitting next to the terrorist the whole time. I held his hand. Oh my god, what's wrong now? We have only seven minutes left. So, we can land the plane? Not with those devices still attached. Those devices are rigged to make us crash, right? Yes, we've been over this. So we just have to find a way to crash the plane first. You want to do what? That overriding device isn't as complicated as it appears. Pull up the photos I took earlier. Looking at them right now. The overriding device is powered by the aircraft, just like the equipment on the plane. The core lights, the water heaters, the USB ports. Zoom in on the right side of the first photo where I took. Look at the wires that are attached. It feed directly into a unit that looks like a compressor of some kind. Exactly. Which means it's only getting its power by the aircraft and the generators, not the battery or the backup. If the device loses its power source, it will go dead and no longer be able to carry out the malfunction to cut the hydraulic lines. Right now, I'm only running on a few more pounds of fuel on one engine. With my fuel gone, I'll lose power after initiated glided landing. But the motor from the right engine will still be powering the generator which means the device will be active and initiate a malfunctions once I fall below 500 feet. But if I no longer had the engine to power the generators... Then there will be no aircraft power for the device to feed off of. Is there any way for you to cut the engine? No. But you can. I need the F-18 that's been tailing us to shoot out the engine. Prepare the cabin. We're going home.
Why isn't it landing? Thank you for your services. Here's your payment as agreed. What? May I have my code, please? Not until my wife is safely on the ground. Unforeseen errors have occurred. Now, I suggest that you take this money and leave. Now. Once they finish sifting through the debris from that plane, they're going to find out that the code that caused the malfunction was created by B. Samuels of Geotech. While you were transferring data onto my drive, it was also transferring data onto your system. My wife is still in the sky, and the deal was she would be on the ground You can buy another one with all of the money that I'm giving you. Now give me my drive! Give me my drive. Take the deal. May I? We're in Dubai, huh? Think they'll go for a guy like me? Give me my drive. So this is this is ten million dollars in a Swiss bank account. How do I possibly know if this is any good? It activates with a simple code online, which I will give you once you give me my drive. No. You first. Shall we? Yeah, go ahead and boot this up, and we can be... Save my wife! Sorry. She was dead before we even started. SoCal approach, over visual on LAX tarmac. We'll begin descent for emergency landing on runway 25 left. Roger that, Libido 1224. How's your fuel? Just still have a few drops to run on. Khalid, do you know what you're doing? No. Do you? The ammunition the F-18 carries is about the size of a Coke bottle. Should only take a few rounds to blow out the engine. When assured the pilot is one of the finest top guns in the nation, the targeting system is top notch. This could go downhill fast. Everybody to the back side of the plane. Come on, let's go, okay? It wasn't a full flight, so there's plenty of space. Away from the engines, away from the engines. Where's Alexis? So Cal approach, once we've lost power, I'll switch to my cell phone so we can still communicate. Confirmed. Flight crew, please prepare for emergency landing. Okay, fasten your seatbelts, strap yourselves in, heads down, knees up, heads down, knees up. Alexis! I'll go get her. I'll go get her. Please, please sit beside me. We're gonna die. I, I want my daughter to be with me alone. Where are you? Alexis? So can approach him on glide and on course. Alexis! Yeah, I'm back here. What are you doing? Oh, Donna, I'm so scared. I know me too, but we have to sit down. Okay. Nine, eight, seven, 
six. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just don't think about it. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, I can count on you to cooperate. Yeah, what do you need me to do? Alexis. Don't scream. Fire! I know that now, okay? All I want is you. I know. I know you do. Tell him now. Donna, listen, I, I love you. I love you too, Benji. I couldn't bear to live without you. I know that now. And that's why you have to forgive me. For what? I'm not gonna let you save me. Ah! Ah! I see to Brad. Who has a good martini? One well, of my favorite places in Echo Park. Well, come on, I'll buy it for you. You mean you're gonna buy me a drink? Oh no, honey. After what we've been through, I'm gonna buy you the whole damn bar. Come on. Mm. Benji!
I love you more than everything. You did. We did. So what do you want to do? Start over. I owe you a real honeymoon, okay? I do, together. Just you and me, we can go anywhere you want. All right? Just tell me. We can fly out tonight if you want. Oh, let's just drive, please. <laughs> Today you're going to make one of two choices. 